What's up, guys? I'm Caleb. I'm Nick. And welcome to Tool, Tool Time, Time Tuesday. Tuesday. So this is the hard top that came with the Jeep and uh, it's in okay condition. It's uh, got no holes in it, so that's good. Um, but we do need to clean it up, um, get the mold off of it, um, and it does need new paint. So um, I know this is a Sahara trim. This is the color that comes with it, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but we're going black with it. This whole thing's custom at this point. It's far from a Sahara trim. It's not a purist. And we need to fix this, which is the weather stripping around this window, which we should be able to take care of. So that's going to be our project for painting. It's yeah. raining sideways. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is raining, so we're gonna clear out some space here in the garage. We're gonna move the hard top into the garage, dry it up, and we're gonna paint it. Woo! Nick, I think she's dry. I think so too. We'll see. Let's do the test here. Oh, that's dry. That's dry. Like, that's like the Sahara. Woo! Oh. Oh, get it? <laughs> oh, I get it. Duplicolor primer surfacer. Duplicolor paint shop jet black. So this paint job <laughs> came out really bad. Uh, we definitely messed something up, which uh, Nick will explain here. Well, we bought a, a Duplicolor ready to spray paint. We then proceeded to roll it <laughs> with the roller. And uh, so normal paints, you know, you do about 50-50 to paint thinner or acetone or such uh, to get it thin enough to spray through a gun. This came pre-thinned, is too thin way too thin why that doesn't work i don't really know <laughs> but all is not lost if you guys are doing this at home and come across this kind of an issue we'll just kind of wait for it to dry we'll scuff it up and we'll use the correct paint yeah. so that's Get some rust-oleum from home depot yeah rust-oleum home depot you heard it you heard it here first
she is. Painted her again. This time, the stuff we should have done from the beginning, Rust-Oleum. Just the basic uh, Rust-Oleum paint that we rolled on with foam rollers and foam brushes. Uh, and this time, we were much more successful. I would agree with that. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's way better than it was, that's for sure. Yeah. And even better than it was prior to that. So, um, you know, I'm really happy with how this came out after we power washed it, brought it in here, and I'm sure you guys have recognized that the garage is a lot cleaner. That's because we got a, another big project coming up for the next video, which we're shooting right now. So, you should definitely check it out. But, it definitely came out really good. It's gonna look really good on the Jeep. It's getting colder, right Nick? We don't like cold. No, and, uh, you know, so we'll be popping this on here before too long, but we do have to make a few more repairs before we're completely road ready for the winter. Well, I hope you liked this video of us painting the hard top for the Jeep YJ. Uh, make sure to like, uh, comment, subscribe uh, for more content like this. And we will see you on the next Tool Time Tuesday. <laughs> Good job, dude. I'm proud of you. Thanks. <laughs>